After a week off for Election Day, the Queen of Hearts drawing was back again tonight in Waterloo, and the jackpot keeps growing. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman is in Waterloo, Illinois, where the Queen of Hearts drawing came up short again. In Waterloo, Illinois, the biggest block party of the year took over the Outsider Bar for another crack at the Queen of Hearts drawing. Just fun to come down and see everybody and enjoy the excitement and maybe win some money. Despite cold and lingering snow, massive crowds braved the weather to see if they were going to win big. I had extra scarves and gloves in my car to make sure we were warm enough. Bundled up, the buzz of possibly winning, keeping everybody warm. The jackpot is so big, we decided to come in and buy $100 worth of tickets, and hopefully we win. I mean, there's only a couple more cards that need to be pulled. 21 cards enticing people to buy up tickets, feeding hopes, and pushing the pot to a jaw-dropping $665,947. All right, we're going to win big tonight. The raffle is part of a fundraiser for Saints Peter and Paul Catholic School. The winner getting 80%, with the rest going to the school. Five, five, four, three. The ticket holder was there, but... Number 27 is... King of Spades! King of Spades! There was no winning card. The crowds didn't mind getting another shot. I felt excited and nervous at the same time. Just being up here and everybody's eyes on me. But that didn't stop her. I mean, I'll just come back next week and play again. <laughs> As will everyone else. The Queen of Hearts drawing breaking hearts yet again. Despite there being no grand prize winner, these crowds are a clear sign that until there is one, the pot and the crowds will grow larger and larger each week. The next drawing will be on Tuesday. Reporting in Waterloo, Stephanie Rothman, Fox News.